130 miles to the south of where police found that person's vehicle that was taken from the scene of the shootings on the south side. Residents who live around the crime scene will go to sleep tonight concerned for their safety with the suspect still on the loose tonight. Jenna Hanchard talked with them and she joins us now live from South Kansas City. Well, Krista, a lot of neighbors that I spoke with, they were able to get back into their homes here, uh, here right off of Warnell Road. But some of them that I spoke with said that they didn't want to go back. They said their area, their home, it looks like a crime scene, and they're afraid to go back into their houses. <laughs> a scary afternoon for a quiet elderly community in South Kansas City. Just before one this afternoon, police got a call about a shooting near Woodbridge and Warnell. Upon arrival, uh, they, they did observe victims um, suffering from gunshot wounds. Uh, we uh, have a total of five victims at this point, three of which have been confirmed uh, deceased. Family members of those who lived in the area frantic to find their loved ones. I can't get a hold of her. I can't get a hold of my husband. Some residents were blocked from getting to their homes, and as they wait, kind of a, it's kind of a the bad news comes. What do you know? Their neighbors, their friends are dead. She's just a sweet, lovely lady. She's retired. I, she's in her early 80s. Very she's spry, very, very active. Walks every day at Ford Parkway. She has many friends there. They stop for coffee every morning. She's just a dear, dear person. Other residents are concerned for their safety. I'm a little nervous. I'm going to. I want to find out just exactly what happened. You know, was it random? I mean, that scare that scares me. If there was, they knew each other, and there was some, you know, right. issue that doesn't bother me so much. But if it was just a random act, that scares me. Meanwhile, police are trying to track down a killer. We are uh, very concerned. Uh, we want people to be safe. We want them to feel safe in their neighborhoods. And that is why we worked so diligently and as quickly as we can to get out here and to make this uh, scene secure. And we want to locate this person that did this terrible act. Very disturbing for this neighborhood. As you can imagine, the neighbors that I spoke with said that they're very close. They work together in this community. So it's very difficult for them to understand how something like this could happen today. Reporting live in South Kansas City, Jenna Hancher, 41 Action News.